you ever just been walking down the street and you can't figure out why people just have the nerve to keep staring at you? I mean, it's enough that you got that yee yee ass haircut fixed. Now you need to figure out what's missing. Well, now we're going to complete the look. In today's video, we're going to get draped up, dripped out, know what I'm talking about, and some official, unofficial bait drip for your boy Frank and Grand Theft Auto 5. So if that interests you, stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you all the tools you need to get draped out in some bait juice. And finally, complete the look. All right, guys, so everything you see in today's video, links are down in the description, and the installation is going to come up after I show you some of the gear and looks we can achieve by getting draped down in some bait drip. From the top to tip, the rooted to the tutor, we're gonna get bait gear from head to toe. So I'm just gonna hop into simple trainer with F3 and then I'm gonna go to model spawning using my number pad, two to go down, eight to go up. I'm gonna choose model spawning and then I'm gonna make my way up or down to the close menu. Hop up in there and here we're gonna start with our hat. We need a snack. All I've eaten today is romaine lettuce. That's great. So we're gonna hop into our hats section here and using the four and six on the number pad or your controller <clears throat> left and right. I'm just gonna navigate through this little menu here going to the right until we find our babe hat. Boom. So here's the base model for our hat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the five key on my number pad and cycle through the different textures. Boom, 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 bang. There's our bape hat. Oh, look at that on the side too. Okay, oh, Frank's showing it off. Next, we're gonna move on down to the jacket. So for the jacket, this is kind of a two-parter for his upper body. Uh, we have a bomber jacket. We're gonna choose real quick. I'm gonna just bop, 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 cycle on through. Damn that so here's one of them. Uh, it also comes with several different textures. It's cool, but it's not the one we're gonna go with today. Nah, we're gonna keep cycling through until we find it right here. So here's the base 3D model, and then here are some of the other textures, and then bam, here's our new bape texture let's take a look at that all right there's our bomber jacket now you'll see franklin has a big void sitting right there we got to put an undershirt on whenever you're installing the mods these are usually called jbib so we're going to hop on down to shirt overlay and right here we're going to locate our base mesh so originally the shirt i wanted to use it wasn't working properly so i chose a different one that i can't remember where I got it from, so I won't have links for this one in the, in the description. But to give you an idea of what shirt overlay looks like, it's stuff like this. So it just fills in the absence of uh, your jacket. <clears throat> and here's the one I'm gonna be using today. We do have other ones as well. If you go on five mods, you can just type in undershirt as one word or two words, and you'll find a couple options. Uh, but this particular one here, uh, this one's pretty cool. It's uh, like a Champ Sports one, and it has uh, various other colorways as well. So we can cycle through it like this. Okay, that was kind of cool. Only thing I'm not too crazy about is uh, the shirt poking out the bottom. Could definitely live without that, but it's not bad. This uh, look ain't really in season right now, considering... Uh, it's the summertime, but we'll do it moving. Now that we have our jacket, we got a hat, we got an undershirt. We're gonna take a look at them pants. So let's get some pants on this man. The pants, they're not gonna be bape, but they're gonna be dope. And again, I don't remember where I got these pants, but they're cool, right? So let's go ahead and we'll just start cycling through. These I got on five mods. They come with shoes, but we have shoes, so we're not gonna go with those. <clears throat> all right we started from the top i think these are it all right so i think we found our pants we'll just change the texture real quick and then we're gonna go on down to the shoes now me 
I'd probably have on some J's considering we got a hoodie on with J's. But, you know, we can always change that also. Let me hop on down to our shoes real quick. You're going to see these shoes. They're going to be kind of, uh, they're going to be wild. But they're Bapes. So, they're, you know they got to be good. <laughs> what are those? Okay. And here we have our Yeezy Boosts. 350s okay there they are in the flesh now is this texture right I don't know you tell me America <laughs> but this is our fit <laughs> this is our outfit um, those those shoes look g -g 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 goofy I am gonna be so honest with you those do not look cool at all. Let's get a look in the mirror here, yeah? <clears throat> a drip check, as they say. Mm, yeah, those shoes, not the business whatsoever. We're definitely going to change the color of this sweater, too. You feel me? Yeah, definitely not the move. All right, let's hop back into that clothing menu real fast. <clears throat> let's look at them shoes, man, because what of things B -b 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 busted. OK, so here we go with our shoes. OK, we've got some wave runners. Uh, that's a definite no on those. Yeah, I think I would just go with these straight up, <clears throat> but we are going to change our undershirt. Mm -hmm. Damn, I hate them all. I don't like this look. <laughs> Let's see, maybe the shoes. Okay. Hey, I'd say that's a vibe. That's a look, right? Let's see what some. Uh... So yeah, with our it looks good with the backpack on. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. I mean, you know, we don't get to see the uh... this. That's cool. Looks good to me. Hmm. <laughs> that's not bad. All right, well, I think this is going to be our fit, man. I wouldn't wear most of this myself, I have to admit. <laughs> but I make this look good. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start with the Bape Camo Jacket. Now, I downloaded the texture here, and I used the Gucci Bomber Jacket for the 3D model. Download those files. Let's get into it. On the top here, I have my Bomber Jacket textures now this j bib that is something else that's an undershirt it's okay we're going to select everything i've made a folder to extract it into and i'm just going to drag everything over there like so now we can get rid of the texture let's take a look at that 3d model so the gucci bomber jacket open that archive up click on the bomber jacket folder all we want from here is the upper 21 go ahead drag that out if you want these other files you can do that that's your prerogative Okay, let's hop into that bomber jacket folder. Now here we have our bomber jacket 3D model and then our bomber jacket texture. Okay, so let's big up open four. We're gonna enable edit mode. That's gonna allow us to drag things into open four. So what we wanna do is select everything in the bomber jacket folder here and just drag it straight on over. And if you want, you can even give it a look. So upper 21 is gonna be our bomber jacket. Oh, cool. And then if we look at the upper diff 21c that's going to be our bomber jacket texture now if, if this is your first bomber jacket texture you don't already have textures for this you're going to want to change that from upper diff 21c to upper diff 21a because if you don't have it alphanumeric 
it's not going to load properly. So let's take a look for upper diff 021C. Oh shoot, that's our 3D model. We're looking for our... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, here's our texture. Great. That is our texture. You'll see I already have other textures for this bomber jacket as well. But there you go. We've got our bomber jacket installed. Let's take a look at what that JBIB file is real fast. So if I take a look up here, we got JBIB 007 somewhere, right? JBIB 007, here we go. So that is an undershirt that you can wear underneath the bomber jacket. Let's take a look at that JBIB uh, texture, JBIB diff 7A. It is a Yeezus shirt. Excellent. That's going to go with our shoes later. Now that we have our bomber jacket and undershirt installed, let's get these Yeezys installed. I downloaded those Bape colorful shark purple camo shoes. Click in here, click on files, and you should have all of these. So you have your foot 11 texture and 3D model. Drag that into open four just like that. And then we can take a look at exactly what feet 11 is right here. So here's our texture. And if we take a look at the 3D model up here, that's what our shoe looks like. Great. We've got a jacket and some shoes installed. That's amazing. Now let's focus on some more brain racking things like installing a hat. So here I'm just going to make another folder. Let's call it hat. We'll hop inside. Now here I've got the 3D model for the hat using the Ralph Lauren model. And then I've got the texture for the bape that will go on the Ralph Lauren hat. So let's go ahead and drag the Ralph Lauren YDD out. And then we'll drag the texture out. All right. You see they're meant for each other because they're both for the 16th slot. And it's already texture number A or letter A. <laughs> okay. Here's what we want to do get rid of those archives, hop back into open four, and we're going to go up a level, up another level, and we're going to look for streamed ped props. Go ahead and give that a double click. Player one. And here is where we're going to install these hats. So you'll see we already have a P head 16. And if you didn't, this is where it would go. Now let's take a look. We have P heads uh, diff 16a what is our diff 16a all right it is already taken so in this example here i'm simply going to rename this from a and if we take a look at our currently existing installed textures it goes from a b c d we're going to call this one e so where that a was we're going to put an e and then we'll just drag them in like so take a look at our texture and we're good to go. Awesome. We just installed shoes, a jacket, and a cool new hat. What else do we have to install? All right. We got a Bape Zip Up hoodie. So inside EMF, I'm going back up a level. I'm going to get into my stream ped players again. Go back to player one. And here we go. Now this is going to install that crazy looking zip up hoodie which I think is very ugly, but this one has a cool texture. Okay, so we have our Bape hoodie here. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and drag and drop that whole folder out, extract that, close that archive. Let's take a look inside there. So Frank Bape hoodies, all we'd have to do literally is just select all this and drag it straight in just like that. No cares in the world, you know what I'm saying? Now you have your brand new Bape hoodie. Let's take a look at upper 13. Ba -ba 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 -ba, right there. There you go. And it comes with a nice array of different textures. Okay. But that's pretty much it. That's all I do to install clothing mods for Franklin or any other main character. I use EMF SP. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope it answered some of your questions and you're all draped up, dripped out in some sweet babe gear. Until the next time, I'm your guy, V3RY. And if you have an idea for a video you want to see, please, by all means, spam 
your comments and requests on all of my videos throughout my channel. I'm your dude, V3RY. Stay safe, stay dangerous, keep on modding. Bye-bye.